Hey everyone and welcome back to Haste Kitchen now. The fig is in season. So we've got about 12 of these from my mother-in-law's garden. She wanted to know what to do with them. So I'm gonna make her a gorgeous onion and fig chutney. We're gonna render that down for about an hour with a little bit of acidity, but it is so worth it. That on a piece of cheese on a slice of bread is insane. First up, you grab yourself a couple of onions. Now it's up to you what choice of onion you wanna use. I'm gonna be using white today. I'm gonna to cut them in half to take off that outer layer of skin. Grab yourself a deep pan or a saucepan and you get that up to heat on a medium heat. Grab your onions. And you want them sort of like in reasonable slices pieces. You don't want them too small. Because when you think about a chutney, you want this sort of those long strands of the onion in there instead. Into your pan, you're gonna add about a tablespoon of oil, your whole two onions, and you just wanna sweat them down for around 10 minutes until they start to caramelize and go golden brown. Once they start to brown off, you're gonna add all the ingredients. So, we have got two teaspoons of cinnamon, we've got two teaspoons of ginger, we've got 100 millilitres of red wine vinegar, 125 millilitres of balsamic vinegar, we've got a small grate of nutmeg, now we're going to use a lime, so juice for whole lime, you want to grate a whole lemon, and into that, we're going to go to all that juice as well. And then finally, you want the zest of about half an orange. You want 250 grams of muscovado sugar. Now for this sort of thing, you want to wait for about 25 minutes until that starts to reduce down loads. Then we're going to introduce our figs and then sweat them down so they break down for about 25 minutes. See, that's what you're looking for. That lovely broken down jammy texture. Now, it's up to you. Some people like this a little bit smoother. So you can just put a hand blender in there if you want and just break down that a little bit more. For me, I like it really chunky and rustic. So I'm gonna keep it exactly as it is. So I've got a jar here. I've heated that up with boiling water. I've given it a good clean and I put it into the oven at about 140 Celsius for around five minutes just to completely clean it off and dry it off. Now we can transfer some of that jam into our jar. Push that all down. And be very careful of this because it's going to be so hot and when it's hot and sticky it will burn and you want to go straight on with your jar and you want to leave that to cool down as it is now am i going to wait for that to cool down <laughs> i don't think so i'm going to be cutting off a lovely big chunk sourdough first of all onto that i'm going to go on with some lovely butter and i'm going to grab a nice strong cheddar stilton would work really well with this as well and i'm just going to chop that just crumble that over the top. And then finally, with a good drop of relish all over the top. I'm gonna have to chop this in half because that's not going in in one go. You're gonna have to just excuse the mess here because I'm going in for a big bite. If you're gonna get your hands on some figs this weekend, get this recipe get making it because that I have to say is insanely good so there we go that is my simple fig and onion chutney now if you do get recreating this one as always hashtag me at Hayes Kitchen please subscribe to the channel tell everyone about the channel and I shall see you next week cheers then bye bye